hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be having a look at a custom music player design which can be included inside your Roblox game. We're going to build it today and I'll be showing you how to do it. This design is easily customizable and can have an unlimited amount of songs. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can bring you the latest videos. Let's get started. Okay, let's start off with making our music player frame. Now I'm going to make mine like this. However, you can make yours however you like because this script is easily customizable and can be used in a variety of designs. So now we're going to insert our surface GUI. Now this is going to be the GUI which the actual music player is going to be visible on top of. Now from here we're going to insert a frame and a sound object. Now I'm going to be using the plugin Roundify to make my frames nice and round. Now to set the size up on the frame so it is the correct size, the visible size. And I also want to insert a scrolling frame. This is going to be the frame which actually the music buttons are going to be displayed on, which you can press. We're going to be inserting, we're going to be inserting a scrolling frame because that allows the user to scroll down if there is more than one or a couple of music options. Next, we're going to be inserting a UI grid layout. Now, this basically allows the music options to be displayed in a user-friendly and listed way. Now, we need to change the cell padding and the cell size of this UI grid layout to fit our music player design. Now, these are the spaces between each of the music options and how big they are on the GUI. Now I'm going to be inserting a frame and this is the object which the music options will be based upon. So each each music option will have a different frame and to be pressing on the text button inside this frame Here I'm changing the property of the text button so that it fits our design. We need to change the frame name to be our music ID and we need to change our text button text to be the music name. So in this case, is Collider and the music ID is this ID. Now we can copy and paste this to all the amount of songs we want to include. As you can now see I'm replicating the options, the number of songs I want to include in my music player. So now we're going to start the scripting part of this music player tutorial. So inside the frame I want you to insert a regular script, make sure it's not a local script and write the following code. Okay, so this code gets all of the children in the scrolling frame and then loops through them.
Now we're going to see if the actual object which we've got in inside the scrolling frame is a te image label. Because if it's a UI grid layout, obviously we cannot get the music ID from it because it is not one of our options. So if it is that, then we want to continue the script. And the next thing we want to do is we want to find out when the button has been pressed. This is done by this, and we're going to set it as a function. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to change our music object sound ID to be the ID of the button we have just pressed. Now, to do that, we need to get the ID of the actual button we've just pressed. So that is achieved with a V dot name, as you'll see here. Now we need to make it so that the sound is actually playing and that's the cheat by getting the sound object and then saying play. Okay, that is now the end of the scripting part of this tutorial. So now coming out of our script, I want you to highlight all the parts of our music player frame and anchor them. Now that is the end of this tutorial, I'm now going to test it. As you can see it works perfectly and displays the song. I hope this helped and I'll see you back in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to see the latest updates. Thanks and see ya.